Welcome, friends, to this series on the AWS Well Architected Framework. The first pillar is understandably security. So the security pillar includes the general security activities of risk assessment and mitigation strategy. They're really broken down into a handful of AWS services. The most important of it is the identity and access management, also known as IAM. IAM is a foundational AWS feature which allows the admin to define users, user groups, and roles and attach each of those classifications of operators with policy documentation regarding what privileges they have. And as an AWS cloud practitioner, you have to know uh, about this in quite some depth. So the training material covers a lot of this. Defining, for example, what is a user, what is a group, what is a role, and so on. So detective controls are a category of services and features within services that can allow you to do some detective work in the event of security incidents happening. And this mainly falls under logging, for example, with CloudTrail or CloudWatch, as well as auditing. And of course, I am ties in nicely with, with these controls. The third aspect is infrastructure protection. This means essentially delineating the perimeter of your application or your service through firewalls, through different um, key management, who can access which aspects of which services. You can have very granular control over this. Then of course there's data protection. So things like encryption, backup, replication and recovery. Um, obviously storage services on AWS have a lot of features for backup, for replication and for recovery. And of course, they really have built-in encryption uh, functionality. Even with all these powerful security features, you know, it's really always a matter of when and not if a security incident happens, even if it's minor. And so AWS also provides the ability to respond to these incidents. And usually that revolves around automating any kind of events, alerting the responsible people and so on. So there's certain design principles that AWS advocates to support your security. The first one of those is implement security at all layers. Under the uh, shared responsibility model of AWS, AWS takes care of security at the low level, say at the level of the hypervisor, the location, like the server racks. They take care of security up to the level of the guest OS, which is where your EC2 lies. So everything above that, including like your application and your architecture, you have to take into account the best security principles. So don't just implement security around the perimeter, meaning like, for example, the firewall or the port where outside users will be um, accessing your service, but also within and between your resource. So making sure that when your EC2 uh, send something over to your S3 bucket while well, it's being encrypted, that every atomic transaction that can be made within your system has the proper security management and authentication authorization and so on. The second design principle is to enable traceability. Again, this comes out of the box with a lot of AWS's core services. The third is to apply the principle of least privilege. So by default, you can't do anything on any AWS service unless an admin goes in specifically and authorizes that action to a particular authenticated operator. And I, again, I mentioned this, that AWS takes care of secure infrastructure and secure services, but it's up to you to secure your application and your system, including your architecture. And the fifth principle, which is kind of motif through all of your AWS journey, is to automate. So an example of this would be to go through all the steps of hardening and patching a particular stack, including maybe like your VPC, your EC2, your, your storage. So everything, you've got it all squared away and all the permissions and everything are set and it's secure. And now the nice thing is now you can automate it with the concept of infrastructure as code, which um, I cover in my CloudFormation video. CloudFormation allows you to just re easily replicate AWS stacks. So with that, hopefully you've gotten a little bit better idea about what security means on AWS and how they encourage uh, users to practice safe cloud computing.